Well, the Chiefs won another one. It was awfully close there at the end, but we will take the victory. Here after the game, I'm just marveling that I already have all my Christmas decor in place, and I have more than usual in place. There are years I never decorate for Christmas. There are other years that I might decorate on Christmas Eve. There are years when I might put a tree up a week early or something like that, but this without a doubt is the year I've put up more than usual, and it's all been up for a while now. It's not surprising, it's not out of place this year. I think many of us have started early. Typically, I like to savor Advent because it's such a short season. It is so full of powerful readings and beautiful imagery in the scriptures and the liturgies. I love music for Advent. I love to savor the mystery and the quiet of the season. But this year, like most of us, I am rushing it a bit. I'm just ready. I'm ready for some glow, some excitement, and some beauty that Christmas brings. I'm listening to my favorite Christmas song. Somebody asked me recently my top three, and without a doubt, this one is always number one. That's due in large part to the fact that when we were kids, my dad, whose name was Leon, would always tell us that uh, Leon is Noel, spelled backwards. And he told us that this song was about himself. And I always loved that. It always brought a certain magic to this song. So to this day, I always think of him when we sing it at Mass or when I listen to it here at home. I'll admit I get a little emotional as I listen to it. But it's great because I think Christmas for all of us is about the mystery of the Word made flesh in so many ways, particular ways in our lives where mystery and wonder and awe come together in family history and in all the great memories that we have of Christmas. If you live long enough, you also have some painful memories of Christmas. And really, the older I get, the more I realize all of it belongs. It's all part of the reality of our celebrations. And this year, we bring the events of a very challenging year, a year that's also had its share of miracles and its share of joys. More time together, maybe more time to reflect, maybe time to look at the world through different eyes and bring it all to bear on the Christmases that we have celebrated up till now. To let this Christmas be a part of the story going forward, that God is still with us, that God still looks at us and sees a world and a human family worth visiting and worth saving. I hope your celebration of the weeks to come will be special. Maybe it'll be the best Christmas ever. God knows it's different. God knows this year has changed all of us. And hopefully the grace of Christmas will bring even deeper beauty forth from the journey of our lives as we celebrate God with us.